Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to review the Hewitt Hydraulic Lift. It's a 6,000 pound aluminum boat lift. So uh, first thing you want to note here is we have the battery pack with the solar panel. And of course the boat is up high right now. So we can get a under look for you here. Um, so we got this lift installed maybe Ooh, two or three days ago. Uh, it's early spring of the season and the reason we got it was that the boats around here make waves and of course it bangs the boat against the dock. Um, so we're on a lake right here. It's not that that deep. Uh, it's where, where this boat is kept. It's probably about uh, the front is about three feet. The back would be about six feet. Uh, so there's a bit of an angle. Um, as you can see it's kind of high out of the water. We got the extended um, feet. Uh, at first, it kind of makes you nervous looking at it up so high, but um, once you get used to it, it it's actually very, uh, it looks really nice, it looks really nice. So um, as you can see at the underflow here, you have the two pads with the carpet on them. One that thing that is tricky we didn't expect is when you're getting the boat on, uh, because of this type of hull, we have uh, kind of, uh, you have to be very straight when you're coming in, and if, if you get it a little bit crooked, the the bottom will hang off a bit, um, which is not so good. So <clears throat> I'm gonna show you a couple things. First, I'm gonna show you the insides of this hydraulic, just the guts of it. So here we have the battery. Uh, and that's the solar's charging up the battery. We've lifted it and raised it a bunch of times, no issues. This is where the hydraulic fluid is. Um, you just wanna check for leaks and things like that in there. yet as far as leaks so that's good and then you have your two hoses which are feeding your dual pumps uh, two and a half inch diameter pumps very strong um, and then as far as where your prop is gonna go the prop is slightly kind of you want it a little bit behind is one thing you do want to look at is when you reverse your prop doesn't hit these uh, metal uh, posts here and then we put these two outer posts on here just so we can kind of see we can guide it in when we're coming in from the water because it's a little hard to gauge because this thing will drop below the water line a little bit hard to gauge where everything is all right now as far as raising and dropping it because it's a neat little remote control definitely something i'd recommend um raise and lift times is about 60 seconds from the time that your full height to the lower part which one nice thing is the range of this is extremely long so i can walk from one end of the house start pushing down and it'll start coming down um, from the end of the house and by the time i'm at the dock it's already in the water so i'm just going to show you the process one thing we no did notice is you get some kind of noises coming down i'm not sure if that's normal or we just need to put some lube on there where the joints are as you can hear that oh, and there you are so now it's slightly above the water as you can see this it's very steady it's uh, you can get on and off the boat and then once you're ready you lift your boat back up and again, those noises, I'm not sure if that's normal because this is my first uh, hydraulic lift. But um, I'm going to check out some other reviews and see if that's something that other people as well have. And if they don't, I'm going to see if, how, how I can fix that. But all in all, I do like the, the lift a lot. A um, lot better than tying it up. It's, it's a nice feeling to have it um, you know, up high at night. You're not going to get that scum on there. You don't have to worry about waves. And uh, it'll just kind of really protect the boat and that's um, very important. So I uh, hope, hope you like my review. If you have any other questions, feel free to uh, comment in the uh, comments below or uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. All right, thanks. <laughs>